Welcome to Run It Down. If they're not running it down, then it's not G2. We're gonna go directly to LEC topics because nobody gives a shit about non-LEC topics right now. First of all, a fun question from Sonic780 out of Reddit. How many push-ups did you guys do after losing to Mad Lions in the best of five? Oof, I didn't do actually any push-ups. I'm kind of sad about that. I don't think, I don't know when was the last time I exercised. Uh, I maybe exercised once since all the like lockdown shit. So maybe once in like three weeks. Uh, I'm feeling really lazy, so I will have to exercise today, I think. I think I will have to. We have yeah. to activate. We have to activate uh, uh, project push-ups again. That's <laughs> true, yeah. Yeah, I mean... That worked out well, yeah. though. It worked? Yeah, it worked for a while, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I saw I Mickey, think. he had the fucking shoulders of, a, of an MMA fighter. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's me, yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, so... Uh, um, yeah. Kinda obviously, it's like, the, it's like the the topic everybody wants to talk about. And I don't want to spend too much time on it, but we have to talk about it, you know? Because every fan is, like, asking about it and, and you know... It, it's, it's, it's bad, especially you're seeing, you know, I'm sure... You as players had had fucking nightmares about some of the games, but you have to talk about it for at least five ten minutes, okay? And yeah, then we move on. I promise. Um, okay. But w why why do you think uh, that the result, you know, against Mad Lions ended the way it did? Um, any of you can answer. You can go first. Okay, I need to go first. Uh, <laughs> well, I think it's like a mix of like a lot of like things. Um, I, I think the biggest mix is I would say it's like kind of unlucky. I think that's like the biggest reason. There's like no other other reason to uh, to. Uh, there's no other like main reason to have than unlucky. And there's a lot of things that were like really fucking unlucky, uh, and our play was really unlucky as well. So uh, I think the series should have been a trio, like a really quick one. But uh, well, to be honest, I will give it to Mad Lions. They did play well. They are. Uh, good at what they do they group a lot and they force as a team so that's something that they are good at and they basically just call us off every time they did it i mean not every time right but a lot of times they did it so i think that's like the biggest issue is was us not respecting what they could actually do and uh when they were grouped and they were trolling sometimes we were not engaging with them so i think those two things um uh, basically i think they were just playing better as a unit than we did and um, I, I don't think I don't, know, I don't think it should happen again <laughs> I think it was a really crazy series I think that uh, we were also underperforming individually a lot um, and but I guess since when someone underperforms the other team performs well so it's always like two, two ways of looking at it but from my way of looking at it I think it's a good thing that actually happened to us since um, we haven't like lost before in Europe, uh, even though it's like online and game five was like really troll. We were like, I don't know, 2k ahead in minute eight or something. The game was like so fucking won. We just started like in inting it. It's kind of, it was kind of like screams. So it didn't even feel like we actually, it was like kind of triggering that you lost. Uh, I was kind of triggered for that loss for like literally like maybe like five minutes straight. And then I was like, oh, five minutes like, straight. Holy and shit. I was like, honestly, like, what, like, what the fuck? It's just an online series, and we just like into it so hard. I, it, this is not ha really happen again. Usually, play better when uh, we have like uh, something on the line, and then uh, we also like lost. So we like experienced the the loss. I think everyone is like trying harder, and I mean, already like, I guess we only had like one day to say, but the screams yesterday were like really, really good. So we'll just see how it goes this week. Um, I would be you very yesterday. Yeah, I would be like very yeah, two days ago. Yeah, I would be very surprised if we dropped a game from that one in playoffs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Shit. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, yeah, that's it from yeah. Me. Yeah, I mean, pretty much just like a very bad day from everyone. I think uh, what was different from our previous best of fives was we weren't really adapting very well to our opponents. Because the whole, I guess, theme of the day was we were just like team fighting a lot all the time, but uh, we didn't really adapt to that in draft and weren't really drafting much for it. Except maybe game four, we had like stronger fights, so we just won five v five and then we won the game, <coughs> even though we were really far behind. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped the game in playoffs, you know, <laughs> after losing three. But <laughs> then again, uh, yeah, I don't think we can lose three in a single day again. <laughs> that would be too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, fair enough. Actually, do you think you guys play better when you have, like, when you're against the. How do you say that in, in English? When you're against, against the. Wall. the... Black against the wall or what? Yeah, when you're. When, when you. When if you lose, you're out. Yeah. You're yeah. For your life. I think so, yeah. I think we. De I mean, we definitely play much worse when we know that we, there is like a second chance, or we know that there is uh, like we already locked or something. Like we have like that's where we always play the worst. Like even historically, like every time it was like we were locked for like playoffs or locked for top seed or something, we always started like playing worse. And this is kind of a similar situation like that. And on top of that, yeah. we were. Uh, it was just a very fucking in day. Like uh, so, I think we will for sure do better next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so, what, where, where do you think that is, guys? Like, where do you think you know our team is like, you know, like that? Like, I mean, I, I guess every human, you know, when they're like qualified for something or something, then uh, they try a bit less, right? But why is our team so prominently fucked when, you know, we have, you know, not much to lose? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to point the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, for myself, yeah, I don't really notice it if I, if I'm like, I don't know, doing anything different. If, like, if there's like, if there's something on the line or not. Um, but like, after, after losing, you're just like, oh, well, there's still another chance. So I guess maybe <coughs> you think that during the game as well, or like in between the series, so maybe you're not, Trying your hardest, but I'm not yeah. sure. Okay. So at the Demurges from Twitter asks about, you know, how were the post game discussions and things like that. And of course, you can't get into the thick of things, but I think giving people sort of a an overview of how you guys deal with shitty moments like those, um, I think it's very nice because honestly, from my point of view, I've seen so many teams the way you guys deal with loss is uh, much different than what you're typically used to. It's very healthy, I'd say. Well, first of all, like, some of our players go to the toilet and come back uh, saying that we should have banned fucking Olaf because he went 16 and 2. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, some of them. I think some of our players do that. Uh, that's one way of dealing with it, like blaming it on something specifically that wasn't necessarily maybe the case, but it was like, part of the problem I think that's the one way to deal with it because then you just you can just play it on the one thing and you just can move on you know <laughs> uh, so I, yeah, I think we should have banned the fucking Olaf <laughs> <laughs> and uh, other than that uh, I mean we just talk about it right we just talk about what uh, what everyone has on their mind what everyone uh, thinks went wrong from their perspective because everyone sees it differently and then most of the times we just agree on most of the points so it's not like we actually have any disagreements or any grudges um, or I mean I don't at least maybe some people have some grudges you know I mean it's I guess it happens if you like think someone or you played bad that you were gonna be like triggered for a while you know but then it just moves on so I think it's just uh, how is it called it's a uh, natural process of losing uh, maybe see. maybe we are a bit better at it just because uh we've i guess i don't know lost a lot <laughs> lost a lot i guess i mean i, I don't know I, I i've already like lost in quarterfinals once in my career so now that i have a second chance losing in quarterfinals does feel like much better <laughs> i can't really like complain <laughs> and uh so i think it's like not the end of the world uh, it's also kind of honestly it's always like kind of nice that you like break this like streak of like even though you're not even thinking about it but we were like we mentioned it so many times last year oh yeah we were like undefeated in bo 5s unless I accept versus uh, FEX FEX yeah <laughs> so now we are like undefeated um, uh, we are not like that undefeated anymore you know we just lost the fucking <laughs> Mad Lions like who, who actually gives a fuck <laughs> actually, who I, actually I gives a fuck about our our like the record so far if we just lost the Mad Lions I mean like I don't want this to play Mad Lions but like we shouldn't lose the fucking Mad Lions that's basically <laughs> how I see it 
Well, I, I'm gonna put it worse for you. What you lost against is a splice. Oh shit! Oh, that's even worse. That, nah, nah. <laughs> that's even worse, dude. Well, it almost happened a few years ago already. So now they just finished. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah, but true. at least they had a good support back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not debatable. <laughs> well, were you there back then? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That was me. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was it was a compliment. Man. Take those. I, I don't give those often. Thanks, man. I, I I was actually listening to the voice comps when you guys were playing against against Splice. Um, I mean against Mad Lion, sorry. And in the fifth game, you guys, I, I couldn't believe it. Like I was, my heart was going out of my heart or out of my chest, you know. And you guys were just laughing and like just. <laughs> I don't even fucking know. You guys are psychopaths, actually. Yeah, it was kind of a it was kind of I'm a serious. Dream, huh? You oh, guys are psychopaths. Yeah, you were like, like 8k gold behind, and you were like, trying to backdoor, and you were just having like you were just having a blast. It doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was like really not having fun that game. <laughs> I was like ah, really that having fun. So fair, eh? <laughs> yeah, I was like really not having fun because I was getting so fucking into the game by my teammates, so it was like so boring for me. But it's like it can't, I can't really do much about it, you know. I have to just uh, l l l how is it called ride along. Yeah, I have to ride along, you know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like say, yeah, we can't win, guys. I'm so fucking. <laughs> I'm not a champ, guys. So we just have to try. Uh, to my job was basically to try to stop their bases the whole game. That was what I could do. Uh, same with Barge. So that was our job, and uh, we failed. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, so yeah. thinking about the way you you guys you guys deal with complications in game, right? It, why? I mean. I'm pretty sure all the five players in the team, uh, before they joined G2, before this group was created, they did not react to these shitty moments as um, positively in game as they are doing it right now. Um, what do you think this group of people, of players, have that creates that environment? Who do you think is the proponent of that? I don't know, because I'm not living in the day to day, so I'm also curious. Why don't you say? Uh, why don't you say what you think, Mickey? Huh. Uh, that's a good question. Like from from the past. Oh, and the question was from Mr. Frank K K K K from Instagram. Okay. <laughs> what a shitty so name, me, buddy. You have to change the name <laughs> you put out questions like this. Okay. The only team that I've been on that like it was it felt really bad to be losing in game was kind of misfits. I think back in Splice we also had like a similar like uh, team atmosphere that we have now. Everyone was just like kind of having fun and laughing about it, even if we lost. So, um, well, the common denominator in both of these was Wonders. So maybe Wonders is a <laughs> secret ingredient. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. I think it's just like all five people are like pretty similar in how we, how we think and how we play, I guess. And yeah, I guess that would be my take on it. And you, you look at it, you, you tend to be a little bit more, more try hard. It's just your nature, you know? I always compare you in my head with the way Cristiano Ronaldo thinks about the game and things like that. You know, it's just very ambitious and very try hard, although you still have a lot of fun, right? Um, you, you've seen both sides of the coin. On one end, you've played with Sven and Mitty uh, and Trick, which is like giga try hard. And on the other, you, you're playing with the current team. What do you think are the pros and cons of each? Mm. Mm. Well, if you're gonna talk about like game wise or personality wise, I mean, I think it's like both kind of like it go both mixes up together. Like with the 2017 roster, it was we were less likely to int it. We were, we were less likely to int the game, but we didn't have like those crazy plays. Or I mean, obviously, like the skill level between this roster and the previous roster is just not not even. I mean, it's comparable, but it's like not really comparable just because of how far we went last year with this roster. So the we were we were we were we didn't do, lose a series in in Europe for two years with that roster. So that's something we had going for us. Here we managed to lose it after just one year. Four hundred and ten days. <laughs> so we uh, that's I guess. I think that's where you can see the consistency part from the 2017 roster. Uh, we all, I feel like we all gave it our best at each point. 
but that's where you see the clutch moments from this roster where we managed to actually like win MSI and go far in worlds. Um, I think the individual skill is just higher. I think we are not yet there at the uh, team level, uh, like not team level, but like how is it called? Like sacrificing yourself for the teammates. I think that was something the 2017 roster was better, uh, like in game wise. Uh, we were just better at thinking about other people in game than this roster. And I think we are improving a lot on it this year though. Um, we're getting much better at it, I would say. Even though the previous series was not really the best <laughs> indicator of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, I think that's the two biggest differences, I guess. But the dealing with losses, I guess, is... Um, I think it's it's kind of similar. I think this team jokes about it way more. I like it much more because it's uh, easier to just uh, forget about it, I guess. And uh, I think, the, yeah, I, I think it's 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 similar. It's not it's not that much different. It's not that much different. Yeah. Okay. So this clip has it all. Okay. First of all, <laughs> what? Let's start from zero. Let's start from zero. I please. didn't see start that actually. Zero. What? Go ahead. Zero. Go ahead. <laughs> now repeat it. Repeat it again. Repeat it. Sasha, you gotta repeat it. What? <laughs> oh, I didn't see this in game. Anyway. I didn't see this in game either. What the fuck? <laughs> but he was really but giggling about his movement before this. And then <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Yeah, because before like he dodged like two Arnold or something, and then he was like, "Ooh, my movement, dude!" <laughs> oh my, <laughs> he did this. <laughs> okay, I think I'm also like balance. I think the bird, the 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 pasta went out, like ran out. No, the pasta went out. Yeah, yeah, That's the true. pasta ran out. I already, I already carry ate some pasta before the game, so it ran out here on this flesh. <laughs> <That's a power laughs> right <spike>. there. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah. But I guess set just kind of to be one them. No, but a bit is, grim, but how broke? Hey, how broken is set? How broken is set? Yeah, honestly, set is like pretty fucking balanced, yeah. It's playing it pretty good. Oh, insane. All right, well, that's it. I, I just wanted to show you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All right. Let, let's play this this other, clip, this other clip that I'm going to put it in green, in green. Comment what you see. Oh, no. Let's see. No, let's see, let's see. No, uh, yeah, no, I didn't see this either. Going? Okay, so here I clear the blink word, yeah. yeah. And then I have a mana flow stack and support. I need to get the mana flow stack with my Q. Yeah. And then my indicator walks into the tower, so I get a tower shot. <laughs> then I fucking die. But uh, Okay, okay, okay. It wasn't well. actually I didn't even see this. I think because <laughs> what the way Mickey uh, described it to me was that Cuffs was griefing him, but looking oh, at the skew and looking at the skew, I think it was also Mickey griefing. Wait, go back, go back, go back, go back. It was also me, unless Miki uh, explicitly told him, uh, I'm gonna Q now, care, then he should for sure okay, back off. Uh, he should for sure back off, but it makes sense for like Caps to step up because Kaisa is like no HP, so it makes sense for him to step up. But uh, okay, it doesn't make sense to step up with the Q either. I mean, I think honestly, <laughs> you guys are just fucking trolling. Like I can't believe what's happening. <laughs> we need more practice with Ezreal Yumi. I, I can't. I can't believe what's happening. I mean, we don't actually play this often, so I can see why uh, why we are doing this. But yeah, uh, yeah. it was kind of first time. We need yeah. more practice, but. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, this uh, this is a lot of this is a lot of highlight reels here from uh, our friend uh, Perks. Um, play play this play this green. Comment what you see. Perks. Look at this. Okay. Okay. My champs are very broken. Cassiope is giga broken. Okay. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't into here in a flash. Oh, it's a bit dirty. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Triple Actually, kill. I, I thought we were gonna lose this game, but ah, this game was not losable as long as I don't <laughs> die. And yeah. Here I had Mikael's, but <laughs> 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 for my zero four lease in, <laughs> it wasn't worth. It. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was saving it. <laughs> Honestly, it makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. I was saving it until like if you get like a coon or a red neck and W or something. Oh. But I guess you had cleanse, so maybe it would be better to just do it than listen. <laughs> I didn't have it this, this time. Right Did Jankos eat enough pasta before the win? No, he didn't eat anything. He, I mean, he oh, ate something, on. but not pasta. No, he must have eaten something. And not pasta, at least. I mean, our food was so for sure, our, our diet was for sure fucking trash today. Like, even more trash than the other days. 
So something to work on for next time, <laughs> for next playoff series. I had a burger. <sighs> okay. You can play this clip now. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, I wonder. A wild Olaf. I hope he's Why doesn't he flash? Well, he has flash up. No, but if he flashes, he's gonna die he wants a blue to me. He wants a blue, I guess. He's gonna die to me if he flashes, so he can't do his run. And here I actually thought maybe he could just kill me because it's Olaf, but he actually couldn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> maybe I could leave it to Kalista. But so he starts zero one. How did he end up sixteen two? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> maybe his champ is just very imbalanced. That is a really good question. Yeah. <laughs> like if I would have been that Olaf, I would have been so tilted off the face of Earth. Little tempo. Yeah, actually same. Yeah, I'm not sure how he didn't just rage quit after this one, but he's, he's yeah, too he strong. He for sure should have. Yeah, it will be the only move. <laughs> mentally. <laughs> okay, we are gonna play this clip. Uh, I think it's the last clip. I think it's a last half. We have to play this shit. <laughs> it's the back door. Oh, no. We have to play this shit. Mm -hmm. Here I thought it was like a reverse oh, expect going on for gamers too, but no. Reverse expect. No. Actually, I'm on a mission here. Hey, by the way, that was actually pretty clutch. It's pretty clutch. Yeah. He's, uh, actually, where did I use my time? Why did you have a portal over the over the thingy, Mickey? I think I didn't have it. I yeah. probably didn't have it. Otherwise, I would. I'm pretty sure I portaled like through to to, to Tribush, and then I just ran. Oh. And then it's not having any. I have ten CDR, so it's only like two, fifteen seconds cooldown. Oh. Yeah. Like my old here. Okay, we should probably not take the no. portal. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe I should take it. Because I think we need to split up, because if both at the same spot, then it's bad. Yeah, maybe so you should take, I it, think Zeke's, I take it. Because I think Zeke's wastes like a little bit of time taking it. Yeah. I think if And also, and he, so here is my portal, right? So it's like 15 second cooldown, so I didn't have it here. So I'm trying to dodge wards. Actually, wait, Kiana was behind me? Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was talking so Kiana. This minion is like really like trolling, because he's like following me, so they, he gives him a good TP. Um, maybe I should just kill the minion. But yeah, here I wasn't sure if I should like ult the Syndra or if I should save my ult. I think, I think it's actually fine if I ult. It's fine. I'm not really sure like how fast they're gonna base. But if I ult right now, I mean they have actually all of us have ult. Actually, if I land here as well. I think if you don't Syndra, she might catch up anyways. Yeah. Fuck. Actually, I also wasted like two people before. I mean, I watched it. It was one ult away. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, really we could have done like 10 things differently and we were probably won and we did like everything wrong. It's like this, uh, this... <laughs> hey, but how disgusting mean? would have been to win like this, let's be honest. Like, uh, I wouldn't, I don't take I that. Wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind as well, yeah. I was really hoping, because I was like fighting Kiana to death and I was really hoping to present. Yeah. And when it didn't end, I didn't believe it, like, ah. Oh. There's a thousand ways we could win and we only lost in one. And this was the one. But you know, sometimes life throws you these curveballs, you know, so you can learn and move on. Yeah, and those live yeah. throws you lemons. <laughs> <laughs> now you play against, uh, what is it, Rogue or Origin? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so now you play against Origin, <laughs> then... <laughs> now you play against Origin, then you play against uh, oh, Fnatic because Mad Lions are the world champions. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then you just play your own family against Mad Lions and... Yeah, yeah probably it's, it's a beautiful story, no? <laughs> Pretty beautiful, yeah. Really beautiful yeah. story. So, fan, fan questions. I don't know what I'm reading, so let's try it. Mickey, oh, this comes from Reddit from Karajin Handwarmer. Mickey X, do you find going to the fridge? <laughs> do you find going to the fridge just to find out you're the only snack in the house annoying? Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard this one before. That's a first. Yeah, it's. I mean, right now I do have some Kinder Maxi King, so I actually do have some snacks. So I really love going to the fridge and eating a Kinder Maxi King. Maybe you do. Yeah, I do. Hey, I you want some? I did not know that Mickey. There's also a lot of ice cream that, I, that we bought. I know that so Mickey. It's fine. We're, we're stack. You're a snack, Mickey. <laughs> so from Twitter, from Steffi Nicoara. Does it add to perks? And actually Mickey as well. Does it bother you that everyone keeps talking about the switch back to bot lane? Which is a fantastic question. Um... It doesn't really bother me. I didn't, I actually don't uh, read uh, comments uh, that much anymore. Uh, I don't think I've like I, I I don't I don't even think I post on Instagram or Twitter for a while. But when I do, I just post it and I just like back off and I check Reddit only to see um, threads, uh, gaming threads, like um, 
what peaks did IG have, like uh, LCK or LPL post game. So I actually don't see any of this. Like sometimes I see them, you know, but I don't actually see them. And I'm I'm not trying to flood my brain with anything, even though uh, it shouldn't affect me. It can affect any one of us in subconscious way. So I'm just trying to avoid it. And we know what is best for our team. Not some random, I'm not iron player that's posting on reddit because <laughs> coronavirus is taking over the world you know <laughs> yeah much I mean, time. yeah the only the only reason i find it annoying is because everyone is like writing it after every single game that we lose <laughs> yeah <laughs> it gets a bit boring after like the thousand time i read it but yeah it's whatever i guess yeah okay um reddit from uki chan <laughs> what singers do you listen to? I know it's out of the box, but why not? Go ahead, Mickey. Oof. Um, hmm. So recently I had like a Breaking Benjamin kind of kind of day, and then uh, I also had Michael Schulte. I had Sasha Sloan, Michael Schulte, and then Sasha Sloan, and then I don't know. It like changes from week to week. I don't really have like a favorite, I guess. It just, yeah, it's a flip. I just can't listen to everything. What about you, Luca? By the way, Luca, I'm listening to the two cellos. Yeah. It's like all the time. Yeah, they're really good. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Well, I don't actually listen to anything specific right now uh, or for a long time already. I don't, like whenever I listen to something, it's probably where I'm streaming and I just play a like, random Spotify playlist. So I don't actually have a favorite singer right now. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. And this is the very last question. And he go, he's going for Mickey. Okay. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot. Why not? Uh, Twitter says, okay, Nadia33, at Nadia33, says, Mickey, can you sing for me? Yes, say no. No. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nadia33. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that was it, write it down. And that was with Luca and Mickey. Uh, two of my favorite people. They play this upcoming Sunday against uh, the winner of Rogue and Origin. So probably Origin because Rogue is not very good. Um, <laughs> and that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Say goodbye. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye.